Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Why am I sitting like this, you might be asking yourself. Well, it's because today I wanna do a dairy-free keto grocery haul. Now I wanna keep, I wanna keep this nice and short and sweet, this intro, which is impossible for me. We all know this, this isn't a secret. Um, I wasn't planning on filming at all today, but I have been doing a cleanse for the last 42 days since two weeks after I started self-isolation. And it's a whole long story, but essentially I decided to do a cleanse. I have a lower back injury and I'm unable to work out and I had some health complications in the new year um, that led me to gaining about 20 pounds. So um, because I can't exercise, I thought, you know, I need to do something like a cleanse. Um, um, to really like make sure that I'm good to go and that I'm still feeling really good and healthy and that I stopped gaining weight um, So my health's kind of been on a bit of a journey and I know keto is not for everyone However for the next four weeks I will be doing dairy-free keto My nutritionist said to start with dairy-free keto for the first two weeks and then see how my body responds to adding a bit of dairy Two weeks in so um, I've done keto several times before when I do keto though I don't actually do it technically properly. I don't count my carbs, but I eat ketogenic like foods that cause your body to go into ketosis. So I stay away from all sugar, uh, grains, carbohydrates that come from grains, um, but I don't count my carbohydrates and vegetables, etc. So I'm just more mindful, but I don't by any means count my carbs every day. It's more so just staying away from grains and sugar. So um, I'll be doing dairy-free keto. The other complication is that coconut does not always sit the best with me. So coconut product such as coconut milk, coconut yogurt, coconut whatever. So I have some stuff here that's coconut, but I tried to find almond alternatives. So, so yeah, I'm now already a few minutes into this intro and uh, yeah, I decided to show you guys what I got. So it's funny because a lot of healthy recipes call for, you know, ingredients that I don't ever have on me. So I want to start by showing you what ingredients I got of that because I have eaten keto several, several times and most keto recipes, paleo recipes, they call for things that I never have in the pantry. And because I've been eating strictly just vegetables, a little bit of fruit, and some meat for the last month and a half. I really don't have any cupboard ingredients, like basically at all. So this is a huge haul and uh, let's just get right started, right started with the kind of key ingredients that I got for keto recipes. Firstly, this is not always um, encouraged on keto, but this is xylitol. You can Google what that is, but it is a natural sweetener that comes from tree bark. I got psyllium husk. This was in a couple of the recipes that I looked at today. So I got this from Vita Health. So everything that I'm showing you right now is from Vita Health. I got brown flax meal. So I got this here. Again, for some recipes, I got gorgum. Now I don't know if this is good for keto, but there's actually a lot of carbohydrates in here, but I've seen this in a lot of recipes, so I decided to get it. I might not be able to have it on this phase of keto, but um, I thought I'd get it regardless. I got arrowroot powder. Wow, I saw it. Here we go. Arrowroot powder. Free at last. I got this xanthane gum. Free at last. Thank God almighty, I am free at last. Sorry, I can't stop singing today. I got erythritol. This is very popular on keto, low carb diets. Then I got this sweetener, so with monk fruit, so it's a monk fruit erythritol kind of combo. And then a few other things that I got for spices and such were garam masala. I got this because I really like butter chicken and curries and I've never had garam masala. And then I got this milled black chia seeds as well to add to shakes and stuff like that. Now, next I'm gonna go into, oh, sorry. And then I got some cocoa powder, so unsweetened cocoa powder. Now let's get into oils, etc. I got this olive oil spray a coconut oil spray. So I got all my groceries from Walmart, Vita Health, and Superstore. I live in Canada. I got this eggless vegan mayo. Uh, I got this one because I'm eating dairy-free right now and I can't have sugar. So I had to find one that was both of those. I also got these sweetened with apple juice, organic dried cranberries, so that when I pick up some nuts and stuff, I'm able to make a no sugar added trail mix or granola. 
for baking, I got these Lily dark chocolate style dark chocolate chips. So these actually don't have any sugar in them. I also got this Pure Goodness Keto Nut Butter. It's a hazelnut chocolate butter. For baking needs, I also got this Only Peanuts and Sea Salt Natural Peanut Butter just by Kraft. I know it's not the highest quality. For condiments, I also got and oils. I got organic coconut oil. I got this Mrs. Renfro's green salsa. It's a jalapeno salsa. I got this chili garlic sauce because I love spicy garlic stuff. This isn't really a condiment, but I got sauerkraut for, I really want to do farmer sausage and sauerkraut. I got medium salsa. I got this uh, Spreadum cultured cashew soft cheese. So this is a spinach and artichoke cheese and I'm going to try and make some uh, almond cracker cookie, almond crackers, almond crackers, yeah. Moving into kind of the next section of stuff, I wanna get on the butter chicken train. So I got uh, four things of tomato paste. I got two tomato sauces and then I got four coconut milks. Now I know this isn't the highest quality coconut milk, but I'm not gonna have a lot of it and I spent a lot of money on groceries, so. Next is some of the fun stuff. So I got this silk unsweetened plain dairy-free um, almond yogurt for different coffees. If you guys have not been following my IGTVs, um, I post a lot more on IGTV right now than I do on YouTube. I post every second day or so, sometimes once a day, sometimes twice a day. And they're usually about five to 10 minute videos, very similar to this. And it's usually a coffee saga of me or me and my boyfriend making coffees. So I got some new ones to try for the coffee saga. I got this from Vita Health. This is the Califia cold brew. This is a black cold brew. This I always keep stocked up. So this is the black cold brew coffee from President's Choice. And then I also got the black cold brew organic coffee from President's Choice. I kind of want to compare the two. And then another um, black President's Choice of iced coffee. I'm really excited about these. This is the Califia Better Half Coconut and Almond Cream Creamer. It's unsweetened. I'm really excited because, sorry, I keep looking up at the monitor. I have a monitor now. Um, I'm really excited because I can now, <laughs> these are all in the frame. I should really get them out. Paul's gonna be mad at me. I'm really excited because I was on a cleanse where I couldn't have any added stuff like almond milks, anything like that. So I've been drinking black coffee, but I really like to make like mochas and stuff like that, like healthy versions and fun drinks. And I've just been drinking literally black coffee. So I've been trying to make fun out of it by getting different black coffees and trying them and taste testing them. But I did pick up three of these. So I'm excited to stock up the fridge. Next, I'm really, really excited to try these. I got these from um, Vita Health as well. So I got these uh, cauliflower tortillas and I want to have like a taco night or do breakfast burritos with those. And then I got these coconut flour tortillas as well. So I'm really excited to try those. I've been craving tacos for six weeks. Now staying on the beverage trend, I stocked up on some milk alternatives. Okay, so I got the Earth's own So Fresh Almond Milks in unsweetened original and unsweetened vanilla. And then I also got the cashews, Earth's own So Fresh Cashew unsweetened original as well. So we stocked up on those. This is an expensive haul, just to be honest with you. I don't normally spend this much money on groceries, but set yourself up for success. I got this organic chicken broth, three of those, because I love to make soup, to be honest with ya. On the beverage trend, I love Zevia. It is pop sweetened with Stevia. I already cracked these open and drank one of these. I got the root beer ones. So these are the root beer ones. This is what the cans look like. I love Zevia because they're sweetened with Stevia and they also have no artificial coloring in them. So I stocked up. I'm super excited to have these kicking around. This is the ginger ale. This is cola. This is cream soda. And this is black cherry. I'm also really excited because I can now have eggs and breakfast sausages. Um, so I got these. They have no added hormones or antibiotics or anything like that. I actually got them at Walmart. So these are the breakfast sausages. I got two packs of the sausages. Oh, sorry, those are the sausage patties. And then I got two packs of the sausage links. I've been really addicted to this Tetley Vanilla Earl Grey. If you're a fan of London Fogs, this is so, 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 so good. I really like it. I put a little stevia in it and usually like a little bit of milk. 
but since I'm on no dairy, I will try it with the creamer. We'll see. If not, I'll just do it with stevia. It's not so bad. Trust me. Couple more things that I got. Not a ton left. So I got a bag of lemons. I used reusable bags and then I ran out of reusable bags. So then I just had to get more. But I got a bag of limes for all my zevia. I got a thing of asparagus, which again, I would usually not use a... I don't really find these that necessary, so I don't always get the produce bags, but with COVID, I'm just trying to be more careful and I need to buy reusable ones. And then I just got a pack of eggs. And then lastly, this doesn't really have to do with keto at all, but since I've moved in, I have not had a hand beater. So I know this is probably absolute garbage, but I just got this president's choice. Gosh, I can't do it. Oh my gosh. I got this president's choice hand mixer so that I can make like healthy cookies, healthy loaves, healthy things like that. So this is my haul. It's a lot of stuff. It was very expensive. The thing is, is like, and I'm not saying, oh, I have so much money. Like nobody wants to spend money on this. I didn't want to spend money on this, but my health is really important. Lose some weight. I've worked really hard for the last six weeks to lose some weight, get healthy, take care of my stomach, take care of my body, um, my digestive system. And the next phase that I've kind of been put on is dairy-free keto. So I want to do a really good job of it. I have a IGTV coming out. That is me kind of like organizing my fridge and I got some really fun containers and made it look really aesthetic so I'm actually so excited to go put this away in my fridge um, if you guys have any questions let me know if there's any other videos you want to see let me know but thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you later don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye